Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and another iteration of my wrapped up finally picking my TBR series. Today we are doing a one book version because I got ill last week and I'm going away at the start of this week so I don't have tons of time to do like two, three book vlog. So we're just doing a little one book vlog so I can try and get back on track and I thought this would be a great way to pick up what I read. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the way I'm doing this series this year, these are the 15 highest and lowest rated books bar a couple because I've had to unwrap some of other videos i have done a couple episodes of this series already we've got maybe like 15 20 left of the highest and lowest rated books on my tbr according to goodreads and yeah i'm gonna blindly pick one of them to read today so i want to eliminate kind of the shorter ones because i feel like they can't really hold a vlog by themselves so i'll get rid of those and that kind of leaves us with still like a decent amount so we've got this many some of the really big ones intimidate me both this one and the one on the bottom are super long so they're a bit scary intimidating I know one of them's Legendborn as well, which is like for some reason really intimidating to me to read as a book. So we've got these ones left. I feel like I always pick one of these wrappings. I feel like I pick them a lot. So maybe we'll go for something different or go for one of these two. I actually can't think of any that I've got wrapped up. I know I've got Murder Before Even Song. I wouldn't mind that. I know I've got Love in Other Words. I also wouldn't mind that. What are we thinking? One of them's slightly longer than the other. I actually can't pick. Like I actually have no clue. Which one to pick? Oh my god, this is stressful. Okay, what shall I do? which one should i pick let's go for the ever so slightly longer one okay i'll let you guys see before me what oh god i'm actually nervous okay are you looking at it is that so like yeah i read it this way so you'll be seeing that or is that the front because that's got like a oh that's like a is that a waterstone sticker what is it oh my god i'm so excited about this one. Oh my goodness okay this is like the perfect book for me right now. I'm so excited for this one. I literally said Love In Other Words was one I was hoping for. And oh my god, I'm so excited. This was actually a work sticker, but wow. Okay, this could not have gone better. This is like right what I'm looking for, what I want to read right now. So yeah, I'm so excited to read this. And I think it's be such a fun book for a dedicated reading vlog because I know people absolutely adore this one. This is like one of the most popular romances and I'm so excited to be reading it. Oh my God, I literally cannot wait. Oh my God, like I'm so excited. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start this later today. You may get some kind of like all over the place clips because I will be away from home. But yeah, I believe this is a childhood friends to strangers to lovers romance and i think it's just meant to be incredible so yeah i can't wait i'm so excited oh my god hey guys so it's a little bit later on now it is like two weeks after i filmed the first part of this video i ended up kind of mixing some things and rejigging my schedule a bit so now is when i'm actually getting round to it so i'm now about a third of the way into love and other words by christine lauren i'm on page 133 which is chapter oh wait they don't have chapter titles never mind i don't know what chapter i'm on but i am really enjoying it so far so i read the first 80 pages of this in the initial week that I was going to upload it and then I took about two weeks break and then I've read another 50 pages today and I'm hoping to read a little bit more this evening so I feel like the first half of my reading of this was a little bit disjointed and has maybe not kind of aided me getting super into the story but now I'm definitely getting a little bit more into it and I am enjoying it we're following Macy and Elliot who are childhood best friends and then they haven't spoken for about 10 years we're following two different timelines alternating each chapter and they have just met in the current timeline but obviously they haven't seen each other in 10 years because something's happened but like they've obviously just got this crazy connection and it's just really really cute this is one of my favorite types of stories i love and then and now childhood friends to strangers to lovers like do you know what i mean like that is just the best even if it's childhood friends to lovers to strangers to lovers again second chance perfect Mwah. so i am very very excited about this i haven't quite got five star feelings yet but i think that might be potentially due to the way that i've kind of mismatched read it i definitely think there is strong potential for at least a high four i think for the rest of the video i also want to show you look at this bookmark i got it's crochet um i picked it up at like a little kind of like artisan type market type thing little craft market and it's just this little flower sticking out and it's got such a cute little crochet bit and it's just long and it's very cute so i'm going to show you that and i just wanted to let you know that yeah i am enjoying it so far and yeah i'm excited to see where we go so i'll check in with you when i'm another third of the way through so when i'm like 260 pages in or so and let you know what i'm thinking hopefully i can finish this off tomorrow and also that will aid my like getting sucked into the story in this but it's definitely a very quick read very easy read i feel like i've been reading some quite slow paced books recently and this is like really quick back to my kind of regular reading pace of like 100 pages in an hour or so which is really really nice so definitely don't think i should have trouble finishing it off and i'm very much enjoying it so far hello it is the same evening sorry i thought i saw a spider it was just a piece of dust but it's the same evening i am now so much more through love in other words i have just sat down and read this whole thing i've read the whole thing i am now on page 303 a little bit under a third from the end 
I'm really loving it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Again, don't quite know five star vibes yet. Might just be, or I don't know what I'm saying yet, but might just be like a 4.5, 4.75, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm really, really liking it. We are easing up to the point where we find the big reveal of why I didn't speak for 11 years and I'm very nervous, but I'm very intrigued for the drama and the angst. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I will say a couple of things that I don't love is that we are having a decent amount of time jumps, both in the previous timeline, like when they were kids, it kind of jumps a bit around which I kind of get that makes sense but in the current timeline she's like super busy working I think she's like a resident nurse or something like that she's doing her residency I'm not quite sure how it all works but like she's super busy so like we've just had a time jump where like they haven't seen each other for like a month and a half and things like that and it's like a bit jarring I don't know it just feels a little bit weird anyway I feel like at a little bit of a distance from Macy for some reason and I don't really know why it just feels like I don't really fully know what's going on in her head I guess I don't know but like at the moment it's sitting at maybe like a 4.5 4.75 for me i am really liking it it's definitely one that i'd like to reread and yeah i'm pretty much going to finish this off today so i probably won't update you at least this evening because then it will all be updates in the same outfit and i'll have to find other angles etc etc it's also like 10 to 12 so i will probably want to go to sleep straight after i finish it but like i'm reading it so fast i'm having such a fun time so i'll catch up with you when i'm finished that might be the most terrible ending i've read in a book ever i'm so shocked i can't believe it went downhill like that like i was loving it like i thought it was gonna be a five star i really need to sit on my rating we'll talk tomorrow i hated the ending so many things about it i'm so confused of why everyone loves this so much normally in books like this you get like a resolution almost and like when you're dealing with deep topics there's like ample time to resolve it and it was just like oh yeah this is what happened i'm glad we talked about it i'm so perplexed i think i might give it a three i'm genuinely shocked at that ending though that was awful. That's terrible. Okay, we need to talk tomorrow when I've got more clear thoughts. I'm so, so disappointed. <laughs> okay, so we have to talk about it. We have to talk about it. So I am so upset that I didn't enjoy this book as much as I wanted to. I agree with a lot of the kind of lower rating reviews where a lot of people said up until the 80% mark they were loving it, which is definitely the same for me. And then unfortunately the ending absolutely ruined this book for me. I will be doing like a little spoiler section at the end because I do just really want to talk about it. But for now, I'll keep this non-spoiler. A couple things that didn't bother me until I like stopped liking the book. Um, but I read this in someone else's review and it definitely applied. Like I think this is something I could have looked over if I enjoyed the whole book. Throughout the whole book, there's obviously this incident that happened 11 years ago, which is why they stopped talking. But in all of the now timelines, it's like, we won't talk about that now. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that in a month's time. We'll talk about that at the end of the year. Like, we won't talk about it now. And it's like, that is clearly just very much to keep the suspense for the reader. But it feels really, really contrived because why would you not talk about it? Do you know what I mean? And when it is eventually talked about, it is brushed over immediately. There is no depth to the conversation and it lasts less than 20 pages which is absolutely ridiculous because why were you like anticipating this conversation so much and then you're going to spend what like five minutes of your time on it it was absolutely ridiculous and i felt like what is the point of delaying this conversation so much if you're gonna not really even have to delve into it you're not gonna get like a big resolution you're not gonna like discuss it at all it's just gonna be like oh this is what happened from my perspective this is what happened from my perspective cool epilogue that was just ridiculous to me the ending felt so 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 rushed and i'm also gonna talk about every summer after a little bit i won't spoil it now um but i might in the spoiler section so just let you know all of the information will be on the screen like i won't just like spoil a book for you without mentioning it i do draw a lot of parallels to every summer after and this because they are so often compared and i actually really enjoyed every summer after and i think a lot of people prefer this one to every summer after but with this one the now timeline was stretched across such a long period of time that we only really had what 200 pages for them to go through the course of like i think it was about six months maybe four or something like that but we definitely go from before thanksgiving to new year's so that's at least like three months or so i believe and it just felt really really rushed a lot of their interactions because you're obviously fitting it in 200 pages yes the book is 400 pages but you've got 200 pages of the then timeline and i felt like it felt really rushed and there were so many time jumps that i just felt a little bit weird about i also felt at a big distance from macy for some reason i just didn't really understand a lot of her train of thoughts and i felt like we spent a lot of time kind of talking about stuff that wasn't really relevant to her relationship now with Elliot or at least kind of sidetracked from that with every summer after what I like about it sorry I've gone really really 
bright white for some reason but with every summer after the entirety of the now portion is spent over one or two days i believe so you're pretty much just doing a flashback almost and then jumping back into wherever you were previously and kind of just following on from there sorry i've changed my lighting slightly but i feel like that just worked so much better because the like whole stretch of the story isn't spread out across so much time you're not doing so many time jumps and things like that and i feel like it flows a lot better and that just wasn't the case for this one unfortunately so yeah i think those are all my non-spoiler thoughts but like my main issue was with the ending and i've read this style of ending before and i absolutely hate it i really really don't like it at all and it really really bothers me so i really really didn't enjoy it. oh my god this lighting i don't know what is going on with it now for spoilers of this one i am going to talk about the ending so skip to this point if you do not want to be spoiled at all but we basically find out that the reason they broke up is because she believes that elliot cheated on her when he was drunk and she caught him in bed like naked with a girl at a party and this is almost spoken about as if it was non-consensual but there is no clarification there and that really really bothers me so there's definitely two Two ways that you could read it if you read it in the kind of first way of that he cheated on her then he speaks about it in like a way of i'm sorry like but that's not a thing you end a relationship over like that's the thing you talk about and i was like no no i think it is like i think it is and if we're going down the route that he did just get drunk and cheat on her and it was completely consensual for both parties then i really just feel like it speaks to a lot of his flaws as a character which were potentially overlooked throughout the book like throughout the book he is seeing other girls at the same time he's kind of building this connection with macy and overlooking it as you know he didn't cheat on her i feel like oh you're young like it's complicated i can kind of understand but going with the lens of that he then cheats on her it's like whoa so he's just like a prick to be honest you know what i mean and also i do not know how you can untie from macy's perspective that after she finds out that he cheats on her or whatever happens her dad comes to pick her up and then they get on a car accident on the way home so how can you not link the fact that elliot is by and part responsible for that obviously like you can't control that but if he hadn't cheated on her the dad would never have got in a car crash and the dad would have been alive so you know i mean like i don't understand understand how you can move forward as a character like I just wouldn't be able to separate those two things like I can understand there's a forgiveness there it's not your fault I understand but like how do you separate those two things deep down within you do you know what I mean and then if we're going across the non-consensual route then I absolutely despise that this was thrown in with no care whatsoever it's not addressed it's never acknowledged in this way but Elliot does talk about having issues with intimacy later on in his life and I've read other books where it's thrown in really cheaply with absolutely no care and it's absolutely infuriating to me because it's not just like a funny little plot twist you know what I mean if we're going to talk about male sexual assault and things like that then I think it's an absolute conversation that needs to be had in books and things like that however you can't just throw it in with no discussion and no even acknowledgement or anything like that it's like absolutely fucked and I really 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 don't agree with that and that makes me almost a bit angry at the book and I think it's really really disrespectful and just really really insensitive especially because there's no mention of anything throughout the book really to allude to it or to discuss it properly however in my perspective i feel like it's difficult because he says that he remembers it and he thinks it was her like he thinks it was macy he thought it was macy that's why he didn't realize he'd done anything wrong but also like if the girl was also drunk then it's just like a drunken mistake you know what i mean if both parties you know, I, do you know what i mean so it's really really confusing the way that this book was concluded and then when they kind of have this discussion it's over in like five minutes she gets upset he like switches up on her completely is super super cold then she like runs away and then he comes back they make up and then they're moving in together epilogue and it's just absolutely insane to me how fast that went and how fast that moved and everything like that and now i'm going to compare it to every summer after so if you have not read both spoilers for every summer after and you can skip to this point if you don't want to hear those so with every summer after obviously there is also cheating in that book but i just feel like it's almost handled so much better than this i think in every summer after both parties made big mistakes that does not justify the cheating definitely the cheating is the bigger mistake but i can kind of understand that there was a complex situation there and i don't know i just felt like it was more i don't know not forgivable for me personally but i just feel like with the way that the characters were i could understand them overcoming it whereas with the way that this was i just feel like there was no conversation surrounding it there was no explanation they barely even had an argument do you know what i mean to like trigger him to then start drinking more and then go on to whatever situation occurred occurred and it just felt like it made no sense like he was proposing to her over the phone and then suddenly he's sleeping with someone else or getting so drunk that they Things happen and again if it was not consensual then obviously that's a completely different story but again none of it was clarified in the book so it just felt really really weird to me so that's the end of our spoiler section sorry about that welcome back if you did not want to be spoiled but yeah unfortunately this just left a really really poor taste in my mouth is that the term a really bad taste in my mouth i don't know but i just did not like the ending so this is actually a two star from me because the more i like step back
back from it, the more like infuriated I get about it. And this is almost kind of tainting my opinion on Christina Lauren because they've been a solid like four star authors for me. But this one I had such high expectations for and I really didn't enjoy. So like I'm really, really upset about it. Like this is really, 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 really upsetting. I really, really thought it was going to be like a five star prediction. And it was like a full five star prediction. And I was even enjoying it up until the 80% mark. Like, like I said, I could overlook some of the slight things. But yeah, just unfortunately, this really, really was a massive disappointment to me. So yeah, unfortunately, not a very successful blindly picking my TBR video. But obviously, we just had a little rant about it. So at least this won't be like a five minute long video. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I said, sorry that this was a little bit disjointed because I ended up kind of jigging some video plans around. But I hope you did enjoy it nonetheless if you did don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe and turn the bell to run a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video and if you'll watch one of my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as they linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye